episode 379, I will be talking about WWE WrestleMania Raw as we make the final stops on the road to WrestleMania. Right here, right now, 360 Wrestling Fanatic. Welcome, wrestling fanatics, to a new episode of 360 Wrestling Fanatic. I am your host, Lance Brack. Welcome, everyone, and thank you for tuning in tonight, right here on Spreaker, or wherever you are listening to 360 Wrestling Fanatic. As we kick off probably the busiest week Of the year for pro wrestling. The final steps on the road to Wrestlemania this weekend. Going to be talking about tonight's Wrestlemania Raw. Which I was wrong. I was talking about on Good Morning Wrestling fans this morning. That I didn't recall I'm really talking about or calling it WrestleMania Raw this year. But when Raw started tonight, it was, in fact, WrestleMania Raw. So I'm guessing Friday we are also getting WrestleMania SmackDown as well. But before Raw started, there was something else that got kicked off for this week. And that is WWE Week on Wheel of Fortune. And I talked about this a little while ago when they first announced that they were doing the tapings. So far this week was Xavier Woods, Drew McIntyre, and Carmella. And... Carmella and her partner, the contestant that she was playing with, went to the bonus round. But they did not win, though. It continues tomorrow. And I know some of the other superstars are going to be on this week. The rest of the New Day, Big E and Kofi Kingston, Liv Morgan, The Miz, Sonya Deville... Natalia and others are going to be on. Also, if you go on willoffortune.com and enter the bonus puzzle, you'll be entered to win a trip to next year WrestleMania XL in Philadelphia. Premium tickets and spending cash as well. So that's WWE week all this week on Wheel of Fortune. I normally watch Wheel of Fortune anyway every night, but that just makes it better at being WWE week. Now let's go on to WWE WrestleMania Raw live from Phoenix, Arizona. Commentators Kevin Patrick and Corey Graves and we start things off tonight with Ms. TV with his guest the man Becky Lynch and the WWE Women's Tag Team Champions Lita and Trish Stratus they are interrupted by damage control 
And this leads to a match. Becky Lynch versus EO Sky. With Lynch getting the win. Heading into the six woman tag team match at WrestleMania. And then we see Seth Rollins being interviewed backstage. And then Mustafa, Mustafa Ali gets involved. That leads to a one on one match between Rollins and Ali. And Seth Rollins defeats Mustafa Ali. Who is now doing this positive gimmick. Or like he said tonight. Positive Ali. Not really the funniest thing. You have heard on WWE programming. And next up is the way in. Between Omas and Brock Lesnar. MVP and Omas are in the ring at first. Omas is weighed and he weighs in at 410 pounds. And then Omas attacks Lesnar, or tries to attack him, I should say. Picks up the scale and then Lesnar stays out of the ring. This one... I'm sure it's going to be a short match, or at least you would think so anyway. Most Lesnar matches are kept short, but this one I'm sure is going to be real short. I Definitely under 10 minutes, I would think so anyway. I'm sure there's going to be the big spot, Lesnar getting Omas up for the F5. And probably Lesnar getting the win, I would think. And we have eight-man tag team action up next. The Street Profits teaming with Braun Strowman and Ricochet. And they take on the Alpha Academy and the Viking Raiders. Montez Ford gets the win for his team when he pins Eric from the Viking Raiders. Tag team action up next, and it's a qualifying match for the women's showcase at WrestleMania. And it is Chelsea Green and Sonia Deville defeating Mi Chen, Mia Yim, and Candice LeRae. Now, Damian Priest and Dominic Mysterio are out. And Dominic once again cuts a promo on his father, saying... What kind of parent hits their own child? Pretty good heel promo here from Dominic. And next up, Damian Priest is in action against Dominic's father, Rey Mysterio. And Dominic gets involved. Two on one attack. And then... Delgado Fantasma comes out for the save. Next on WrestleMania Raw, the Intercontinental Champion Guthner defend, defeats Dolph Ziggler as Guthner will re- defend the IC Championship against Dolph Ziggler and Sheamus in a triple threat match. At Wrestlemania this weekend. In the main event. The American Nightmare Cody Rhodes. Taken on Solo Sokoa. With Paul Heyman in his corner. Pretty good match here. I thought. Cody and Solo working together. Thought they did pretty good. And. We hear the Usos theme music. As they make their way out. But then we hear Sami Zayn's music and him and Kevin Owens come down, start fighting with the Usos in the aisle way, and they take them to the back. And Cody Rhodes hits the crossroads on Solo to get the win, heading in to WrestleMania this weekend. Could kind of expect that. Cody Rhodes winning 
and getting some momentum heading into the match against Roman Reigns for the Undisputed Universal Championship. So that was tonight's WrestleMania Raw, the go-home episode of Raw before WrestleMania. And this week is just getting started. We have a lot more left, as I talked about at the top of the podcast. WWE Week on Wheel of Fortune. Wednesday, AEW Dynamite. And right after the premiere episode of AEW All Access on TBS. Thursday, a special live episode of Impact Wrestling from the Access TV studios in Los Angeles. And then 11.45 is a countdown show for the Impact Wrestling and New Japan Pro Wrestling Multiverse United. Only the Strong Survive, which will feature one match. And then at 11 p.m., the Multiverse United show starts. Also, at the same time, will be Dax Harwood live show FTR podcast. And GCW, I don't remember which show it is, but one of their shows is on Thursday as well. And then Friday... Ring of Honor, Super Card of Honor, and WrestleMania SmackDown, as I mentioned earlier. And then right after that, the WWE 2023 Hall of Fame ceremony, which I didn't mention yet, but it has been officially announced. Stacy Keebler going in this year, which... It might start, I don't remember what time it started last year, but there was a little bit of like a, maybe you can call it intermission after SmackDown while the ring crew came out set up for the Hall of Fame ceremony. And Saturday, 1 p.m. Eastern is NXT Stand and Deliver on Peacock and WWE Network internationally. And all weekend, of course, is the Game Changer Wrestling, the Collective. Their show's going on. Also, Tokyo Joshi Pro has a show. I don't remember right now. I'll have to check that what day that is on, but... And also, WrestleCon going on. And you can still go on to HighSpotsAuctions.com right now to order items, get them signed by some of the guests who are going to be there. Dr. Britt Baker, Adam Cole, Goldberg, Hook, Conan, Negro Casas, the Young Bucks. You can, the items are available right now at highspotsauctions.com. And I'm not sure how long they're going to be available for when they're going to cut off the sales online. So if there's anything you want to order, any of the turnbuckle pads, the trading cards, the action figures, the 8x10s, the other pictures or posters they have. Also, a couple I forgot to mention, Mercedes Monet and Trinity Star. I think that's what she said her new name is now, Trinity Fatu, the former Naomi. You can also get items of them that will be signed at RussellCon. So, like I said, if you want any of those items, I'm not sure when they're going to stop selling them online. So, you better go hurry and check them out. 
highspotsauctions.com and of course Saturday night Wrestlemania Saturday and then Wrestlemania Sunday I am going to hope to try have episodes of 360 Wrestling Fanatic as much as I can. I'm not going to promise every day or how many times a day or how many episodes, but I am definitely going to try to keep up with all the going-ons this huge week, WrestleMania week. And we'll be here every morning for GMWF. So that's all for this episode of 360 Wrestling Fanatic. And hope everyone had a great Monday today. Hope everyone enjoyed WrestleMania Raw. Hope everyone enjoys the rest of WrestleMania week. I will be talking to you definitely again the rest of the week. So thanks for tuning in tonight. Until then, I am Lance, and I am a wrestling fanatic.